As the last ice age came to an end, rising seas from melting ice swallowed thousands of miles of the eastern seaboard into the Atlantic Ocean and gave shape to the continent we now recognize. Before that, Paleo-Americans may have lived along the expanded Georgian coast, and fossils show that even the mighty Mastodon once called this place home. Today, a glimpse beneath the waves reveals what was once the kingdom of land-based life has become one of the most diverse and vibrant habitats for marine life on the East Coast. This extraordinary place is helping reshape how communities understand and interact with the world's ocean. Gray's Reef National Marine Sanctuary. Designated by President Jimmy Carter in 1981, it is now one of 14 sites in NOAA's National Marine Sanctuary system. Named in honor of Milton Sam Gray of the University of Georgia Marine Institute, who drew attention to the area through exploration in the 1960s. The 22 square mile sanctuary is one of the largest live bottom reefs in the southeast United States and home to more than 200 species of colorful fish and dense populations of coral, sponges, and other marine organisms. Like bottlenose dolphins and endangered loggerhead sea turtles that seek refuge within colorful rocky outcroppings. It's no wonder that Gray's Reef is a popular destination for divers and recreational fishermen, as well as a hotspot for research and education. Though there are many challenges facing the ocean today, Gray's Reef National Marine Sanctuary, together with the community, is making a difference right off the Georgia coast. And you can help. Whether you're a local or just visiting, volunteer your time and expertise to the sanctuary. Join one of our many events and outreach activities. Enjoy Gray's Reef responsibly, or help spread the word about this underwater treasure. Its value is immeasurable in helping keep our blue planet protected and healthy for generations to come. This is your sanctuary.